This is raised angle magnet generator 2. We're going to be breaking down the components within the uh, system here of raised angle magnet generator 1. The key components, one is for this demo, I split the neutral. I interchangeably call the neutral line or zone a also a north-south barrier. I'll explain that later. I have a magnet pack here north and south. The neutral zone is within the center. A metal pin will not be attracted except to the sides. There's a barrier here. Very strong force. That keeps your uh, anything of a gain to be uh, harvested from magnets. For years I tried to cross this barrier easily without results. And I have tried many. Very strong forces on each side in the center. Okay. So what I did for this video so I could see it better what was going on. I split the neutral. This is a, a bar, metal bar. Now I have a wider avenue to work with than on the sides. It'll pull. So right now I have a barrier zone the north-south barrier zone opened up and wider so I can transverse this this uh, barrier or neutral zone very easily with a magnet. Your OU is less power in, this would be your input power, and then we harvest some of these outer magnetic fields for the output which is much greater. So that's the idea we're headed for. So we split the neutral so we can see what's going on easier. The base magnet is now set at 45 degrees or sometimes at a diagonal, whatever works best. I have this now at a balance point. This is called my divider magnet. It divides the north and the south as it oscillates. But I have the forward forces and the backward forces in a balance. You can see there is a force forward and also there's a force backwards. They're quite evident. And there is a more of a force to push in here as you can see. That gives you no over unity gains as we were talking about earlier transversing that barrier. But I found a way of transversing that barrier very, very easily. And that's the cutting it with the divider magnet. Now I can go from one to the other very, very easily. Okay. There's forces there working. The restricted within the limits of the physical base magnet. If you get too far out from the center point, then you do have a push. So that lessens your gain of a reunity effects. So you have to stay within here, but if I stay within there, very, very easily transverse between the north and the south. Okay, so kind of backtracking. On each side of the base magnet, a forward and backward force is encountered by the divider magnet. The center position or the balance point is the balance between those forward and uh, backward forces. The oscillation of the divider magnet synchronizes into a gain effect not understood at this time. You can see generator number one about that. I have these on tracks for a purpose. 
they also the forces have a torque to them right now if I set that on the glass it would torque and spin so for a while I thought that would counteract my OU uh, results that I was trying to but it did not seem to do that it still has a component within that torque that pushes forward and backwards and that torque does not enter into a restriction it's almost like gravity the field of gravity goes straight down so you could have a hundred pound weight here and you have it on good bearings and a good track you can move that hundred pounds with your finger because gravity fields do not pull and tug or resist they just pull down so it's free to go back and forth through the gravity field okay same about this the torque did not seem to have any effect in the gain or the motion uh, and the force fields okay I hope you enjoyed this this is just a breakdown might answer some of the questions you had on number one so I thank you very much for your support and your feedback your suggestions comments and your donations have a good day and make every day count